All right, here's another try. Uh, part two, section 13.2. All right. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Uh, let's see, what do I want to do now? Okay, we talked about greater than 360, didn't we? Is that what we're on? All right, so let's just go to different colors since I have a red graph here. You could do this, watch. You could start here and go whoop all the way like that. What would I call that angle if I went around? So it's 390, that's right. And you could keep going forever, couldn't you? You can keep going a bunch and bunch of times. All right, so that's all that is. It's just to show you that you can actually have an angle that's more than 360. So if I said, okay, 540 degrees, and um, they, I forget exactly how they word it, but they're going to say, um, like, one time around. I forget exactly how they word it, but what would another way to write 540 without, you know, just going around less than one time? What would you do? Like, if 540 is more than 360, right? So how would you find the actual angle within this one range instead of going around the circle a bunch of times? Yeah, you just subtract 360 from it, right? And you just keep doing that. So what is that? That's an 8, and that's a what? 180, is that right? Yeah. So really, it's 180. So 180 is the same thing as 540. So if you hear these guys, wow, that guy did a 540. OK. Did, did I do that math right? Yeah, 14, 8, 2, 1. Yeah, OK. So what did he do, a 540? Well, he did one time, right? And then he did? A half another time, one and a half rotations, you know, you hear that in diving and all that kind of stuff, right? So you'll hear that all the time. Um, they talk about coterminal angles. Okay, we kind of did this over here. When they talk about an angle that it's coterminal, so for instance, I'll give you an example. If they said, here's 130 degrees, it says, find a coterminal angle with positive and negative measures. That means, okay, 130 degrees would be in here somewhere, wouldn't it? Um, give me another angle that's 130 degrees. Well, what would you do? You could say 130, what? Plus 360, couldn't you? Okay, and that's what, 490? And you could say 130, you could go the other way too. So, right, you just go the other way. Going this way, you would actually subtract the 360, wouldn't you? And what's that? 230? Okay, negative 230. So watch. 490 degrees and negative 230 degrees is the same exact spot. It's the same place. Now, you get there different ways, right? And you might take longer to get there, but you end up at the same exact spot as where 130 degrees is. That's what it's saying. So what's the word? What do we say? Find, an, find a co-terminal. All right. So co, I guess, means with or together or something like that, doesn't it? Something like that and terminal where it ends. So that angle would be in two different, I mean, it's the same angle, but it's two different ways to get to that angle, all right? So that would be a coterminal. You could keep on going. I mean, you could keep adding 360, add 360, and find all these other coterminal angles with it, but um, that would be kind of silly. So let's just get rid of this and do one more thing. Let's talk about radians. We mentioned that uh, the other day. So let's talk about what a radian is. Now, I'm gonna try to get me a circle here. So my first try with a circle with this program. Look at that. Pretty good, huh? No way. Oh, why can't I do this? I can't believe I'm going to take two days to do this lesson. Well, I guess I have to. I could. That's what I could do. <laughs> Johnny. Well, I won't do that. Um, oh, goodness. I, I'll finish it Monday, I guess.